replaced the fired Alain Vigneault back on December the 2nd, of course, the former head coach as well of the Minnesota Wild as we are underway this first of two meetings between these teams Sharks give up the puck right off the opening faceoff and a grade-a chance for the Flyers but Cam Atkinson couldn't tuck it home and Burns There's jumping into play here's the misfire by Middleton the very first shift right there just kind of rolls over his stick Van Riemsdyk gets it into Atkinson that fourth line tonight, Jeffrey Bial, who has the puck now, and a save by Sandstrom as Bial, who scored his first NHL goal here on Tuesday. Rolls off his stick, Bial, after coming off his first National League goal, the other... On the far side of the ice, right in front of the San Jose bench with Jonah Gadjevich at the end of the shift for both of those two. They're separated as Barbanov stick handles, puts it on net, that rebound, and the follow shot by Timo Meyer off the net. Couldn't click as Burns comes back the other way for the Sharks. Brent Burns loads up, puts it on net, and it's saved by the rookie Sandstrom. More often than not when he's on the ice, here's Hurdle. Works his way in with Dolan. Dolan back for Tomas. And Sandstrom got his goal stick in there to break it up. Just the line in for the Flyers. He'll get it to the net, and Reimer with his first big save of the period. Now Shimmick has to play the right side. He's now on the left. It's an outnumbered situation, four on two. He's pointing to Shimmick, but right here, Burns makes a decision to go out at the high guy and allows that play to come in behind him. So sometimes you have to recognize it's an outnumbered situation. You have to delay the opportunity as long as possible. And now Yandel, waiting to see what Couture is going to do, spins him around, then delivers a nice feed to Konechny. Travis Konechny sends it up on the wing. A chance, and they score! And the Flyers strike first. It's Morgan Frost. one nothing Philadelphia. And three on two with the center lane drive right there. And Malosh, if you're going to let the guy drive through there, you've got to get a piece of him. And because he doesn't, Konechny just knows now he's just got to get it over to Frost because it was a three on two to begin with. Vlasic attacks the puck carrier. And Konechny makes him pay. After he drives to the middle, through the middle, and makes a tap in. Kristalainen, back over to Sanhai. Final minute of the period. Chance for Philly in front. It's Frost again. And this time can't put it in. Here's what happened. Yeah, there's Konechny. He kind of gets tangled up. Not sure if the skate caught him there or not. You could really tell. But right. He, I'm just going to stay in. Yeah, Ian mean, Wallace was calling over Rick Tops right away. I mean, he was waving him over kind of frantically, if you will. And that was something that worried me that, you know, those skates can cut you in a hurry. I've had... Flyers back. And then eventually they won it in overtime on an Ivan Provorov goal. Second period underway. We'll see the Flyers again. Sharks penalty killers tipped a bit. They Sharks penalty so Jake Middleton's made a lot of real subtle plays here tonight where he hasn't panicked. Here's Couture with a break. Scores! A shorthanded goal, and the Sharks tie it up. Any head coach not going to like a shorthanded goal. Couture makes him pay right here. That little self pass finds a 5 hole on the young goaltender from Philly. This one gets by Yandel, and now it's just settle the puck if you're couture, get your head up, find a hole, exactly what he does, but this is all set up for Middleton, off the face-off win, doesn't panic with the puck, they navigate it out into the neutral zone, and Couture ties again. Couture again, backing up his Provorov, a three-on-one, short-handed, Couture shot saved by Sandstrom. Chances, here's the three-on-one with a back checker from Philly. Rims it around to the weak side. Middleton there first. Sharks have killed the penalty and scored, and now Hurdle. Tomas, he's got Burns. Scores! Brent Burns, and just like that, the Sharks have the lead. Well, Brent Burns has the mindset to shoot. 
He's deadly. And this move, though, by Hurdle sets it up. Little backhand feed as Burns activates and then just blows it right by Sandstrom. That pass right there was a beauty from Hurdle. And then it was just Burns just having to settle down that pass, get his head up, and find an opening. And just like that, Sharks now hold the lead. And Nieto will lay it in, and they'll get a full change. Well, with the long night last night for the Philadelphia Flyers, getting to that bench in the second period, tough to do. Couture in front. It's Meyer, and it's saved by Sandstrom. Stop there at the left pad from Sandstrom, and then Timo Meyer all alone out front. And this puck will skip perfectly for Noah Gregor. Here's Gregor into the zone. Dangle shoots, and it's saved by Sandstrom. Sandstrom seeing a lot of incoming. Yeah, looks like he was going to pull the trigger right there. It was the wrist the liner kind of... You said it earlier. I have loved Lane Peterson's game tonight. Yeah, he's all over it. That was aggressive forecheck. Creates that chance. Two on one. Konechny with Brown. And it's saved by Reimer. Travis Konechny. He's been stuck on 99 career goals. Top corner. That was a good save with the shoulder. Two on one. I like how Schimmick played that. Allowed Reimer and trust his goaltender. Saying that, hey, I took that guy on the backside. Let me delay this as long as possible. For another minute 47 carryover from a penalty late in that second period. And we are underway with period three. Gregor into Benino. Gregor with the puck. He tried Barabanov and denied at the doorstep. Alexander Barabanov. It looked like it was in for sure. Catch it on the backhand turn and fire, but here's the other one. And Barabanov just going to pull it on the backhand and wow. With Cagliano on his left. Burns waits. Burns delays, fired it through the crease. Classic back in front, Cogliano, and off the glove of Sandstrom. Benino clears it on Hayes. Burns comes out of the box, throws it to Cogliano up front. Check to the ice, but the puck comes out to Hurdle. And now Meyer. Yandel got his stick out on it. Back in comes Lindblom for Philadelphia, and they score! Joel Farabee with a quick wrist shot that fooled Reimer, and it's 2-2. Well, Farabee makes him pay on a turnover in the neutral zone. Puck management, one of my keys here tonight, and this is just a, a terrific wrist shot. Beats Reimer to the far side, and boy, I wonder if this could be offside. We're going to probably obviously take a look at it now, but they did everything right the Sharks did, and Timo Meyer helps his defenseman, takes the puck out. Carlson going after Konechny. They're both, good. both guys getting swats at each other. And Braun is just going to kill the clock here. And this game will go beyond 60 minutes. Overtime coming. Eric Carlson to start the overtime. It's Claude Giroux with Cam Atkinson and Ivan Provorev for the Flyers. As Hurdle jumps on along with Gregor. Tomas Hurdle toward the net. Brings it back around in the crease and it's grabbed and held by Felix Sandstrom. Love with Carlson just held on to it, allowed him to come on the ice and just attack Sandstrom on the on the short side, hoping he can wrap it around. But good recovery from the young goaltender to slide from right to left. Quick pass for Hurdle and the Sharks almost lost the puck. Now they've got a two on one. Eric Carlson with it, waits. Carlson, Hurdle, and he scores. Thomas Hurdle. Boards, off the boards right there and he creates enough havoc but it was the Carlson activating there to create the two-on-one the patience of Carlson to thread it into hurdle and it gets disrupted by Sanai momentarily with the block but hurdle hits the brakes and buries it for the game winner